Emmanuel, good morning and win today. My name is Professor Bill Ndi of Tuskegee University in Alabama, USA. And I have come to acknowledge through this message of condolence to this Corn family and TB Joshua's uh, family, um, the birth of an archangel with the passing into glory of this most humble servant of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He has proven to be the most humble of the servants of Jesus Christ in our days. And my story with um, senior prophet T.B. Joshua, the now elected archangel T.B. Joshua, um, dates back before I visited the school in 2017 and after which I became a member. I remember two years prior to my visit, I had this vision in which he came to me alongside one of my late uncles who was a man of God too. They had come in angelic form and in the clouds. I know the story is so long for me to tell here or to narrate. So I would rather leave it and just talk about my encounter with the man of God at the school in January of 2017. I had been struggling with some back pain for well over 12 years from 2005 to 2017. The back pain I had a surgery on that did not even help in any way. So when I came to the man of God, I realized how humble a man of God he was. He prayed for me. The pain had since left me. And I just remember him and I would like everybody to remember him as this minister of God who never strayed from the words our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ had spoken. I also want him to be remembered as I remember him as a doer of the word and a man of faith who did not stray from the words he did. Now that he has been elected to the rank of an archangel in the heavenly realm, we cannot but celebrate as partners, as cone members, his new promotion. In his teachings, he never failed to tell us about trials being the soil and on which faith flourishes and there can be no promotion without trials. In spite of his trials on earth, with the help of the Lord Jesus Christ, our prophet T.B. Joshua of Achaia, and now we look up to him in the heavenly realm alongside the other angels to continue interceding for us. I pray and thank the senior prophet for having allowed himself to be used by God because unlike many others who are attached to the material things, he was so selfless. He was so selfless. So I want to thank him for the blessed encounter, meeting him, as he always said, you can come to the synagogue ordinarily. It must be ordained. So thank you, Prophet T.B. Joshua.
thank the Scone family, Mama Evelyn and daughters. I want to thank you and enjoin you to celebrate rather this fantastic promotion our prophet has been given. We will miss him physically, but he will be in our hearts forever. He is not dead, he is alive. I thank God for giving me the opportunity to witness the making of an angel. And I thank Prophet TB Joshua for allowing himself to be that example. I only pray I can walk in his footsteps and that one day I might join the heavenly realm. Emmanuel, good morning and win. Thank you.